absolutely, the way they started uh, in the last two matches, the way we bowled, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, that's what we were looking forward in uh, upcoming Asia Cup and World Cup. And uh, after this tour, we had a few days off, but still we will work on the players and bowlers, even better or fielders, uh, to keep their momentum the way they are in good rhythm. So next training camp or tour is coming, uh, maybe we, we are going to face Pakistan and uh, uh, Sri Lanka hopefully for a three matches series, but it's not confirmed yet. But after that we have Asia Cup and World Cup. So we will try to continue this momentum and we'll take to the Asia Cup and World Cup. Can you please tell us what are you dreaming for in the World Cup, especially as you have Rashid Khan, Majid, Nabi, or some very good players, as well as the very good seamers. So what are you dreaming for in the World Cup, especially this year? Uh, inshallah, this time we think bigger and uh, we're hoping for a very good result. The way the team is performing, uh, all the world is aware of Afghanistan. Uh, they are fighting their best, they are giving their best, and inshallah, uh, we get more hope from these players and uh, we have very good backup. Uh, so inshallah, yeah, at this time the, this World Cup will be good for Afghanistan. Maybe we can win a few matches with a uh, good result. Coach, at the beginning of that series, we saw that a huge number of Afghanistan fans come to the field. It's quite unexplainable and unbelievable in Bangladeshi soil. Because in previous we don't see that. So how they boost up you and your team? Of course, uh, we were also very surprised and shocked uh, the way the people came here from Afghanistan. I think there are students, uh, most of them are students here. And I would like to thank them. Uh, they came and support their players and country. And whenever you, you go to uh, out of your country and get uh, the crowd behind you, it gives you more energy. Especially the Bangladesh crowd, it's amazing. They're all the time behind their team. If uh, you go away from your home and uh, you get a crowd and support, definitely you'll get boost up and uh, you'll give your 100% in the game. And that's why uh, uh, the players was very excited and uh, they performed really well. Could you just mention that uh, in Bangladesh is a tough job, but you guys are doing very well and very easily. Uh, but Not easily. It's almost easy. So, <laughs> So we had we had a lot of practice for that and we were well prepared. Marjit Bakar have not shown their character here. Are you surprised by uh, approach of Marjit Bakar? Yeah, the thing is uh, we played a little bit positive cricket, one step ahead of Bangladesh maybe, and that's why maybe Bangladesh uh, couldn't try to catch our bowlers or batters to get them out early, and that was maybe the key point. Uh, I think a little bit one step ahead of Bangladesh and uh, the result was, uh, you can see, beating Bangladesh and Bangladesh. I know it's uh, not easy, but uh, behind that, we have worked really hard, practicing and training for five to six hours. And the most important thing, believing in, uh, in the team, in the players and ourselves. And that was uh, the most important team for anyone. If you believe in yourself in team, you can beat anyone. But you just mentioned that uh, you have a strong backup also. So you own the series and there is any chance to uh, use your backup players and change your 11 for the last match? Uh, not sure yet. It's all about the uh, head coach and captain. Uh, but uh, alhamdulillah, any player drop or giving the chance to another one, uh, definitely he will be deserving as well to be part of his level. But uh, let's see. It's uh, up to head coach and uh, captain. Decision.